Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Um, I know we're running short on time, and so I'm, I'm going to try to be quick. We have a, a statement from Roger, from Representative Roger Kane of the 80, I think it's 89th district, which I'm not going to read that today, but I have copies. If you would like a copy of that letter, it's a letter to Dr. DiPietro. I also have um, copies of a letter from a current lady involved, because as you remember, uh, those of you that watched Inside Tennessee back in January when Dr. DiPietro said he wasn't all that concerned about the uh, former Lady Vols. He was, he was concerned about the current ones and he was told by Athletic Director Dave Hart that they wanted to change. And of course the athletes have been too intimidated to speak out because they remember that the band director was fired when um, his students spoke out against an athletic department director, directive. But there were two very brave um, current Lady Vols, the Newell sisters, AJ and Anna. AJ was, is the senior, so she was here for the four years to really see the changes in the program. And she, what she, she wrote a letter and she said basically that um, they were not consulted, they were informed, she had no idea this was coming. Um, she, had, she could have gone any place, uh, you know, just to play, to play golf. There were other places that um, had better facilities, had prettier campuses, but she came here specifically to be a Lady Ball, and it's just heart sick over um, the decision that was made. Those were the, the two first that spoke out. Molly Hannes uh, had a tweet that uh, Knoxville New Sentinel reporter John Adams picked up on and wrote an article about that, and she was also, she's also a current Lady Ball, a graduating senior that spoke out against it. Erin Gackle, who, um, is a swimmer that graduated in last weekend, actually. She has given me a letter, which I won't read the whole thing because we're short of time, but I have copies for you if you would like it. Um, and the key thing, she says, when Dave Hart came to tell us the decision to drop the Lady Ball logo, I have to be honest, I wasn't aware that was the intention of the meeting. Our women's team was gathered into our team room and a discussion was led on the font, on t-shirts, the colors used, and so on as we trended, transitioned from Adidas to Nike. We are used to not having Lady Ball on our gear as we are a joint men's and women's team and predominantly use the power tee, so it really wasn't that surprising that he didn't mention getting to use our Lady Ball logo much. I actually walked out of there wondering why I had been called into a meeting like that. I felt a little naive and ignorant when I found out that our university's athletic director had actually been letting us know our logo would no longer be part of the Tennessee tradition. It hurt me and confused me as to why someone would want to drop something so iconic and meaningful to so many. And then she goes on, and, and um, I can give you a copy of, of the rest of it. Um, in closing, I want to uh, thank all of you for coming. I, I just want to remind you that the Lady Balls is the most successful brand in collegiate athletics on so many levels. They uh, 11 national championships, 69 SEC championships, more Olympians than, uh, than I can count, and they forged their, their identity and the value of that brand. They forged it in the heat of competition, in the classroom, in um, service to the community and its ambassadors for the state of Tennessee and the University of Tennessee. Um, is, you've seen the petitions. We've got about 20, 23,000 signatures. Uh, the university did not show up today, which has been typical of the way that they have responded to us. They do not want to talk to us. But my question to them is, are they really going to ignore 23,000 people? Are they really going to ignore Donors and alumni, do they not care? Are they just dismissing current and former athletes? Do, they, do those people not matter? Apparently not. And you know, this is a, the University of Tennessee is a public land grant university. It's not a private school. It is, oh, it is the state's university. It's the flagship institution. And we as citizens and alumni and fans of the University of Tennessee Women's Athletics Program, the Lady Balls, uh, should be listened to. We're paying their salaries. And they're violating Title IX in all kinds of ways. All and Dr. Ward, who is an expert on issues of equity, 
says they are violating Title IX in all kinds of ways. So I, I will end on that note. I thank you for coming. Uh, we do have some handouts if uh, people would like them. And go Lady Balls.